hello everyone welcome back to the channel so in today's video we are going to take a look how to generate a professional pdf document like generating any certificate or receipts using power automate so now usually this requires a premium connector or any third party subscription but there is a way to do this by using only standard actions by leveraging the onedrive convert file feature so we'll take a look how we can actually create any pdf out of html template with our dynamic data and then convert that dynamic data the html data into pdf so over here i have created one course tracker my list so the scenario is whenever one course is completed with a status completed then the employee should be receiving one congratulations email with the certificate attached so over here if i click on this certificate so you will see like certificate of completion and this is the dynamic data which is being filled into the html template so this use case we are going to build today so as i said like for a reliable and cost effective solution we are going to take help of power automate and with the OneDrive convert file connector. So we'll start with a instant cloud flow and we will just skip the trigger as of now. And inside it, we'll add a trigger when an item is created or modified. And for our use case, I'll be connecting to this course tracker list, selecting site, selecting our list name. And over here, I can additionally put my this trigger condition and I can put the trigger condition when the status is completed only. So I can add condition over here. I can define my trigger condition that is equals and from trigger body i will use this column which is status and if it's completed then only my this trigger should be picked in so once you add this condition you are done with your trigger and in the next step we are going to use one compose action and in this compose action i will just populate my this certificate html so you can get that html generated from any ai application like chat gpt or gemini so i will paste this which i have already generated so in the input i have pasted my this generated html which will be certificate of completion and this is to certify that than employee name so right now i will just keep on replacing the content which i wish to read from my list so i will say read my employee name from my this item created or modified action and i will choose the display name and the same thing i am going to do for my course detail so i will just replace my this course detail with the dynamic content as course title so which is the title of my this list item then i will replace this dates with my this start and end date so now all the dynamic content has been filled so i am done with this my compose action now i can do this create a file into my onedrive so there's a temporary file i am going to create which is of type html and then we will convert that html file into pdf with the standard actions no premium connector or no any third party I'll create a file. I will create this in the root path of my folder. So that's fine. You can have that into subfolder also. And in the file name, I will generate that as in with the expression so that I can have something dynamic. So I will say concat my this file name. So I will say like the course underscore. I can append my this title from dynamic title. So I will just choose title from my this course title list. And I will append again. The date time format so that we can append the date time when the course was completed and later on we can just append our html extension that is dot html so the file would be created with the name the course underscore our this course title and then this file name so i can actually add one more underscore so that we can separate the date with the actual file name so now i can add this expression and in the file content we will use the input which were there in the compose so i will just use that from dynamic the output of our compose action so now this html file file would be created under my this one drive so this is a temporary file and in the next step i will just use that to convert convert file and in this case like i will choose the file identifier as in dynamic from our previous step of this create file and the target type is pdf so this will convert a file of html into our pdf and then lately i can send that into email to the person who has completed that certificate so i will just add this send email i will choose this you can choose this dynamically so the employee who has completed the certificate so i will choose employee email and subject i can say congratulations on completion of course and you can put the course title 
and over here again you can just specify congratulations on completion of course and again you can just put the same title or you want to tweak the body that's your choice i'll just for the demo i'm just keeping it simple and in the attachment we will attach the file so over here in the advanced parameter we'll go to this attachment and in this attachment we will read the attachment content and name so i'll say add new item and the attachment name i will use the file name like where we create file without extension and over here i can specify extension as pdf and in the content we will specify the content which is being generated after our this file content so once it's done then we will save our flow we'll give it a name and now i will go back to our course record list and I'll create a course and I will directly set that status to complete it just for the demo purpose. So I will say course title is Gen AI Advanced Course Employee. I will just put my name so that I can receive the email. Start date, just any random date. And the status I will set that as completed so that our flow can trigger. So I've just added it and we'll just wait our flow to run. So our flow ran successfully and I can just directly go to my mailbox and I received this, this email which says the same, same subject and body which we wrote and we have this one attachment. I'll just try to open it. So it says that the PDF, certificate of completion and the course name. So this is how we were able to generate the PDF from our HTML content based on the dynamic content from our SharePoint list in simple few steps. This will enable us to save the cost on the third party connectors or third party PDF actions. So directly we can do this. So that is it for today's video. So I hope like with these few simple steps, you would able to generate the PDFs for your use case. Thank you.